everyone, my name is Emma Tversky and I'm on the Angular team at Google. I'm super excited to give you a small peek into some of the amazing things happening in the world of Angular since that last Jamstack. Earlier this year, we released Angular DevTools, a debugging tool currently helping over 70,000 developers debug and profile their Angular applications. Definitely go give it a try. We've spent a ton of time focused on the new developer experience. So along with new documentation, debugging guides, and more verbose error messages, we're making sure we're helping developers build quality applications. Speaking of performance profiling in Angular DevTools, along with our partnership with Chrome, we're also ensuring that we're building more performant applications. The version 12 and version 13 releases have a ton of built-in improvements, like new Google and Adobe font inlining, critical CSS inlining, strict mode typing, image components, and a significant bundle size improvement just from the completion of projects like our new rendering engine, Ivy. In fact, across Google's 2,700 plus Angular applications, we saw a 90% reduction in computational resources. And in the largest single Angular app at Google, we saw a 30% bundle size reduction and build times are now 50 minutes faster, just from ng updating. Wait, you probably just heard that I said v13, not v12. Well, cat's out of the bag, but we're getting ready to release Angular v13 early next month. Staying true to our public roadmap, you can expect the removal of IE11 support, 10% faster builds with the replacement of uh, Build Optimizer that will be replaced with Babel Transform, enhanced Angular material accessibility, and a ton more. If you're interested in what else is going into that release or a sneak peek, feel free to check out the roadmap at angular.io backslash guide backslash roadmap. Along with our roadmap, we've also over quadrupled the number of RFCs or public requests for comments that our team is running. We've run eight so far in just in 2021, and you heard it here first, but the biggest one is just about to drop. So don't forget to follow Angular on Twitter and YouTube so you can be the first to hear about Angular v13 when it's here, learn all about those open requests for comments when they get put on GitHub, and so, so much more. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful event. That's a damn sad, Carrie.